Hey, what's up guys? This is Alan over at Sonic Electronics and today we're going to show you how to set your subwoofer amplifier gain just using your ears. So, and to back it up, we'll have some references in the video for you to take a look at just to make sure that, you know, we're correct on what we're listening for. Alright, so like I said, you're pretty much only going to need to use your ears. The only other thing you will need is basically a CD with a 40 hertz test tone. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to put the CD in, play the 40 hertz test tone, turn the radio up three quarters of the way, um, and then we're going to come over here to the amp and start adjusting the gain up until we hear a change in the way the pitch sounds in the woofer. And then at that point, we're pretty much going to know that that's where the distortion starts. And what we're going to do after that is we're going to verify that with an oscilloscope just to see if we picked up on the right spot where it's distorting according to our ears. So let's get started. So we're going to start creeping the gain up on the amplifier. Um, it may be hard from this point to hear the change in the pitch of the woofer, so we're actually going to stick the microphone in, uh, and the camera in the back where you can actually see and hear the change in the woofer. So we're going to go ahead, let's go ahead and start creeping this up here. Right there. So right there, if I go back one or two, and we go up one or two, and we'll hear a major change in the way the woofer sounds. It's not necessarily getting louder, but it's actually changing. It doesn't really sound like 40 hertz anymore. So we're going to go ahead and verify that in the back. So we're going to move the camera to the rear of the car. Alright, so we went ahead and figured out exactly where we can hear a difference in the pitch of the woofer as we're playing it, so we pretty much found where we think the distortion point is by our ears. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is turn that back up to that exact point, and then we're going to go ahead and take uh, our oscilloscope to verify how close we are to uh, the distortion point and uh, see if we're right or wrong. See that? Okay, so we got the oscilloscope hooked up to the leads of the amplifier. And as you can see, this is at the point where we thought we heard the distortion in the pitch of the woofer. So if you look at the sine wave at the top and the bottom of the wave, you can see it's a little flat at the top, which means you have a little bit of clipping right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the gain up one notch. Now you can see it's really clipping there. Back down. And now you can see I went back down two notches, and now you can see the sine wave is perfectly round at the top and the bottom. If we go up one, it's slightly square, which is where we thought we heard the distortion. If we go up one more, it's really squared off. So that's basically how you can tell where the amplifier is clipping just by using your ears, and we were pretty much 100% spot on. <laughs> 